What's up, YouTube? This your boy, James, to the O. Yes, the life in the Army, the military. Boot camp, Fort Leonard Wood, Missouri, 2011. Delta 210 Company. We are Delta Company. We are Delta Company. And we like to party. Hey, that was my jam. I like that one. The blue phase. The best phase. The beautiful phase. We was going through FTX training two and three. FTX training three was bomb. It was nice. It was, it got live. It was in the bushes and like it was in the forest at night going through, crawling down. Man, it was fun during FTX three. We playing a role of enemies and shooting at one another with blanks. Da -da 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 -da. Of course, we ain't gonna shoot each other with live rounds. But there were live round machine guns shooting in the air. That was fun. Until you get close to it and you get shot for real. But yeah, FTX 2 was cool. FTX 3, it was out in the field for like a week. Oh my gosh. It was cold, raining, everything. We were using the middle of nowhere. It was almost like you're lost. FTX 1 was okay. That ain't happened in blue phase. That happened like in white phase for us. FTX 2 and 3 were in blue phase for us. We were a little behind, whatever. We never did the, the, the 20K and all that other stuff. We did 5K. Rucksacks, all that. Yeah, blue phase was fun. Usually when we go in the dining hall, you really can't eat ice cream or any other sweets and stuff because you're in boot camp. But because we... Certain people in my platoon passed the PT test. We were able to eat ice cream sandwich. The vanilla one, the big, the, the Blue Bunny brand. Yep, and Drill Sergeant or, or Beta, the Filipino chick, of course, the Drill Sergeant. Well, we like, oh, then take your butt over there, get you some, get you some extra food. You skinny, you need to eat. She always picked on me. I said that in my videos before, but I'm saying it again. Yeah, she always picked on me. So what? Uh, that's what happens when you try to be a ghost. Can't be a ghost for nine weeks because Jill Sarah's going to know who you are sooner or later. And it took white face for me to be discovered. Jill Sergeant Chu from 2nd Platoon. We go right out. We finna march out, go somewhere from the barracks. First platoon, sound off. And second platoon and third platoon. It'd be first platoon, be like, Timberwolves! Second platoon, Coyotes! Dakotas! Second platoon? Y'all have a nickname? We know their nickname. They know their nickname. But, Jill Sergeant Chu, the Korean guy, he was running that platoon. He said, y'all don't deserve to be called the Wolverines yet. Y'all are second platoon. So, <laughs> we used to clown them. We used to call them second platoon. <laughs> They're like, no, we're Timberwolves. We're first platoon Timberwolves. We have a nickname. What's y'all nickname? Oh, second platoon. Then out of nowhere, it was Timberwolves. They was like, Wolverines. Like, oh, what? 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 Wolverines? Y'all are Wolverines now? They was always Wolverines since day one, but they had to earn it. We we was called Timberwolves right away, and third platoon was called Coyotes right away. Third platoon, they was getting dogged out. During the whole course of the thing until the end, towards blue phase. Blue phase was fun after FTX 3. Before I get to the end of FTX 3, during FTX 3, we had a PG platoon guy, female, uh, private Sarah Tallbrand. This girl is funny. She was like, Uh, drill sorry, we have 55 assigned, 60 present. I was like, Wait, hold up. How do you have more people present than you have assigned? And she did it again. Okay, we got 50 assigned and like a higher number than 50. <laughs> it was funny. We were stuck looking stupid like, oh, wow, she don't know her accountability. We're, we're doomed. She kept doing it and it was just crazy. And then some people mock her about it. It was funny when FTX was over with. Then another part of FTX was Drill Sergeant Marino, Daniel Marino, Mexican guy. This dude, he. He thought I was a dummy, personally. So he was asking me questions about the nine-line medevac. What's lying this? What's lying that? 
I see you looking away, Odin. I was. I was like, please don't get me. I'm in the front, so there's no way I can hide. No way. In the dark. So he asked me a couple questions. He said, if y'all get two out of three, I'll leave y'all alone. I answered the first question, right? Then he asked Craker. Then he asked somebody else. They didn't know the answer. And then Joe Sergeant Marine was like, you see where I'm getting at? I'm picking at all the dummies that's trying to get by. So, I guess you, you picked on the wrong dummy because I wasn't a dummy. I knew my nine line in back. I'm, I, was, I might have looked stupid to him, looked lost to him. But believe me, when it came down to it, I knew my stuff. Now it's post knowing basic training. We didn't get to sleep that much. Then he came back and asked more questions that we were supposed to know throughout basic training. Based upon all the training we went through, he picked on me again. Got that right again. Two for two. He left me alone. And he started asking people that he knew knew the answer so that we can go to sleep and get ready for the next day for FTX3. You'd be amazed how you go through boot camp. For those who've been through it before, that you will encounter those who are trying to sneak their way through, make it through the cracks. Somebody somewhere down the line gonna make it through the cracks because too many of them for drill sergeants keep eyes on, tabs on. But since I'm one of the tallest people, of course they're gonna keep tabs on me, especially Jill Sergeant or Beta. I think I was one of her favorites, I think. I'm not sure. I assume I was. And then this one, then we had com combatives. Ooh, combatives was fun. There was one girl from Third Platoon, Private Nicole Billups, was going up against one of the members of my platoon, First Platoon. This girl, Private PLC, uh, Chloe Corella. By the way, me and her was on the same was on the same maps. We swore at the same time together. We was on the same airplane. The same hotel, same everything. This chick got dogged out by Nicole Billups. I was like, damn. Had her in a prone position, started on your knees, like kind of like wrestling. Dogged her out, had her own collar pinned down to her neck. She tapping out. <laughs> I was like, damn. I said, Corella, you weak. And she was like, yes, real sergeant. That was her thing. Yes, real sergeant. Yes, real sergeant. It's like a little girl when she said it. Yes, I'm Facebook friends with Corella as well. But that's not her last name anymore. She got married. And as a child, has a family. I couldn't salute you all the way for that. That's excellent. Keep up the good work you're doing. But, yeah. If the combatives part was fun and I went up against Private Harrington when we had those big old Q-tip thingies, sticks we ran each other full speed the dude was strong, keep in mind that dude, boom, moved me back it was beating me up it was, oh my gosh, it was three rounds so, unless you win or lose the first two so after I lost the first round I won second and third round I said, I gotta outsmart him, I can't Play the strength game with him, bump chest to chest. Of course, it was our uh, lieutenant colonel was there. Susan Pastro was there to the captain. It was fun. First Sergeant Finney, the one I mocked one day when we was out on the field and people was impersonating drill sergeants in front of the drill sergeants as well as the whole company. This one third platoon person, uh, drill sergeant, drill sergeant Macedo, this dude's hilarious. He'll say stuff so fast, and then he'll say do it at the very end. I want you to do this over here, do this over here, take out the trash, do this, this, do it. What? So one of the females impersonated him, it was hilarious. He laughed himself because he knew it was funny. But it, it was, it was fun, man. Blue face. Cause you know you're close, you're this close to graduating, your friends and family be there and everything else and yeah, I'm finna get to that last part, so stay tuned for it, blue phase, the final phase.